My name is Erlen Wienis and I uh, served as the association fieldman from 1968 to 19 or 2002. It was 34 years. It's my understanding the association was created to help farmers get a better handle on their business. I think uh, as a lot of the people came back after World War II, um, there, was, there was a need for uh, instruction and help with record keeping uh, on farms. Thus the Minnesota Farm Account Book was, was um, put in place. And a lot of the people that were in the association were veterans. The whole thing was to, to give the, the farmer a better handle on the business so that they know where their strengths and weaknesses lied, how they compared with other farmers in terms of performance and uh, progress that they're making on their farm. So I think, I think that was the initial, initial uh, impetus to get the association going, to give farmers some, some trained people from the university to kind of help them along and get them started in, in better farm management practices. Our family has been farming, working with the Farm Association since I've got records when my grandpa Nell Sandiger started back in 1939, keeping the farm account book. And through the years, my father and uncle worked together in a farm partnership and they kept records and I've got their old account books where they worked with the University of Minnesota and the Farm Management Association. And I've done it. and. Next generation, if they come on board, perhaps they'll do it too. But uh, it's been a very good program through the years, helping us out, keeping track of our business and helping us make management decisions. And the fact that we work with the university, we get you know, the benefit of all the economists and specialists up there. And uh, that's really helped us through the years, get our improve our farming operation and keep it going. The first year of joining, I guess, the first season of fall analysis or her book close out was interesting to say the least. Uh, it's a process to get the initial information entered into the association's uh, FinPAC system and whatnot. But um, just understanding the different financial benchmarks uh, was very interesting in that first year and, and learning how to kind of keep track of where you're at uh, financially and, and what kind of direction you're headed into. Well, they gave us this, um, we had this farm account book to keep our records and that was, we found out that that was a very good system to, to keep track of everything. Otherwise, there's something you would forget or would go slip through the cracks, you might say. But we thought this farm account book was a very good system and we still use it today. When we signed up for the Southwest Minnesota Farm Management Association, uh, this is one question that came up. The salesman drove on the yard, and he was selling shares in IDS, Investors Diversified Services. And a few of the neighbors were all signed up and uh, so they could write out their $10 check for the year. And I was also encouraged to uh, sign up for this. Next visit with the field man, I asked him, I said, uh, while he was going through my book, I asked a question, I said, uh, what do you think and what's your opinion of me signing up for doing some investment in uh, IDS, in Investor Diversified Services? And he says, yeah, I'll keep talking. And I tried to explain a little bit where the money was going and he stopped and he says, Art, you are more diversified than the Investor Diversified Services. He says, you've got milk cows, you've got milk, you've got sows, you've got baby pigs, you've got corn, you've got hay, fat cattle. He says, you are more diversified. So find out which enterprise is doing the best for you and plow your resources back in that enterprise. And that was the best advice I ever got. The field man, I guess, I, I think is probably my most important thing I like about having the membership. You know, we, we have a few questions here and there. It gets me going in the right direction always if I have a kept question. Um, and then it is, yeah, the, the networking with the other farmers and 
uh, than me, especially with a lot of young farmers there, and I'm somewhat young. I would say probably if you're if for some somebody young, I think a program like this, the association, is a great starting point. Um, the, they really help you get all your ducks in a row. Uh, I mean, I think the finance, the financials are probably one of the most important things on a farm, especially when we're young, because uh, the little mistakes make are a little harder to correct when you're younger and money's a little tighter than maybe when you get a little older. You can maybe weather the, the, the mistakes a little better. Well, I think for us it was pretty dramatic because in the 80s, of course, there's a lot of farm, you know, farm communities in turmoil. And of course, when you see your balance sheet, you know that, hey, my net worth plummeted dramatically because of lack of, you know, <laughs> land prices going down. It kind of makes you sit up and take note. And so then, of course, you had all this information right there so you could make, uh, I guess, decisions that are backed by fact. And uh, it really helped quite a bit. The biggest thing probably is benchmarking. The biggest thing is when you joined it, it forces you to keep better books. So you actually do know what's happening. And I cursed about it because I did most of the, <laughs> the bookkeeping, you know, and it was always a challenge to try to allocate, yeah, you know, keep records of where did, how much hay the cows ate, how much the heifers ate, and you sit there and scratch your head and go, you know, try to keep a pocket, a thing going in your pocket as to how many bales of hay went where, and, um, but I always thought, you know, it turned out pretty well, and, uh, and, it gave you confidence to know where you're at. Well, and of course, with benchmarking, you're comparing, you know, your operation to your peers. Am I doing and, a good enough job? Yeah. Are you Are you competing well? You know, or what do you have to change or whatever? So, gives it's, you kind of you know confidence in in what you're doing, I guess. <clears throat> Been able to take in a lot of advice and knowledge from association members and, and field men who we have been able to work closely with. And moving forward, I, I do see a continued benefit in being involved in the association. Well, I guess the biggest thing is just get in there and get after it, you know. And, if and that's what make, you want to do, that's what you got to do. You can't be shy about it. <laughs> yeah, and you make use of the, the yeah, things that are available to you, you know, for, well, like for us, you know. Luckily, we made use of Southwest Farm Management when we decided that uh, that was the thing to do with so. I really enjoyed my time with the, with the association. Um, I said I've been in for three years and I plan on staying in as long as uh, the association is, is going. So it's been, a, it's been a very good experience and very helpful. We've been with the association for 75 years roughly in our farm, in our family, starting with my great-grandfather and it's a good program, helped us out in our farm management, meeting people, working with specialists in the university, and it, in the future, I can see it working along with farmers, and I think it's a great asset to any farm, and I strongly recommend it. We'd like to uh, thank all the fieldsmen that we work with the association, and we'd also like to thank the board members for their time, and we'd encourage them to keep up the good work. From my perspective, tremendously good people in the association. Many of them were leaders in the community. Uh, oftentimes, they're, they're, they'd, be, uh, they'd be selected for special mention uh, in articles in newspapers and magazines. Uh, the wives were excellent cooks. When I first started out, many people told me, now stop here for lunch, because then they get another half hour of my time. And uh, man, some of the pork chops and the pies and whatnot, that, that stands out in my mind as being a, a real highlight. I had about 150 to 70 farmers and their wives to, to uh, work with through the program. So it was uh, interesting and it, it was a, a great career for me because of the, the people. They're just top-notch people and I enjoyed uh, enjoyed them a lot.